Hi, I'm Casey Johnson. I'm a fourth grade math teacher, and today I'm going to show you a fun fourth grade math lesson. I tell my students at the beginning of the school year that they are working in a candy shop for this activity, and we use these little connecting cubes for the candies, and I tell them that their boss demands that all of these candies are grouped into packages of 10. And I basically say, go to work, and they start putting all of these together until they get packages of 10 that look like this. Now at that point, I look around the room, got a whole bunch of these floating around, and I say, you know, I see more than 10 of those out there. The boss said we have to package them in groups of 10. At this point, they'll start putting these together with each other's, and they'll make, now I'm gonna use a smaller cube for the rest of this, they'll start putting these together, these are the same as these, and they'll start making these. You can see this would have a hundred cubes in there. And now I look around the room. Now at this point I usually have about 19 of these in the room. And I'll say, you know, the boss said we need to have everything in packages of 10. So the people that have these on their desks, you know, you notice they have to work together. They'll put 10 of those together like that and come up with a very large cube. And then we'll talk about, well, how many candies are in that whole thing? And there are a thousand in there. And we don't have 10 of these, so that's about where we stop. And then I ask them, how many total candies did we have in the whole class? How many of these? And so with my class, we usually have one of these. So we say we have 1,000. And then after all the grouping, we usually have nine of these. So that's 900. And then we'll have maybe four of these. So that's four tens, or 40. And we'll usually have about five of the individual cubes left. And so we'll figure out that we have about 1,945 cubes, depending on how many got lost in the previous year. Now the next step you can go with this is introduce another number. Say another class had 3,100 48, and you can ask that class, well, how many tens did they have? How many of these did they have? And they'll figure out that they had four. Um, some students might even say, well, they had 314 of them before they combined them. Um, you can also ask questions like, how many more oh, hundreds did we have than they did? It lends itself really well to addition and subtraction later on. Gives them a good understanding of the place value system, the base 10 system. I hope that you'll try this activity. It's really fun and really helpful. Thanks.